been a wild night thus far on Turf War. Uh, Joe Dabrowski, Benjamin C. Steele. We're going to talk about some breaking news uh, in just a couple of minutes. But right now, I know you want to see your gal. Uh, look at the gams on her. Excuse me? This is, of course, Thunder Kitty. She is self-proclaimed, I believe, the only active 95-year-old professional wrestler in the world today. Also the only woman to ever wrestle in front of the Glenn Miller Band live. For a long time. The Glenn Miller Band. Yes. And the Harmonica Hepcats. It was actually a double show. Thunder Kitty, a throwback to the days of... May Young, Fabulous Moolah, Gladys Killam Gillum, Ida Mae Martinez, the two trailblazers of pro wrestling in the women's division, and she loved to uh, be fashioned as one tough bra. And she did train all of them. Also, a fine, fine outfit. I actually have an affinity to them. Next thing you know, you'll tell me she dated Billy Wolf, too. Here comes the tag team partner of Thunder Kitty, the debuting. Pro wrestling bartender. I don't know how many bartenders that dress like that, but this is BC. I, I've been given specific instructions when I signed her. This is not Miss Hannah. This is Miss Hanna. Oh, Hanna. I just don't know that you pronounce it correctly. Good for you. An interesting. Trust me, she made me practice. An interesting team, uh, shall we say. Uh, the bartender for wrestling is Hanna. Hanna. And somebody who actually was uh, for the Prohibition Movement, oh, really? as, as some people may know, uh, changed her stance on that. But Well, Career's women's division has never been more competitive, and with rumors of a champion being crowned later in the year, uh, you might see these strange partnerships as these athletes jockey for positioning in the rankings. Well, everybody wants to be at the top of the women's division. Only one woman can, however. And this is the debut of Miss Hanna, and we'll see what she's capable of. Caution! It's Jocelyn! That doesn't quite rhyme, but we'll move on from it. She may not know that. Jocelyn Navarro, straight from the Caribbean to Cleveland, Ohio, at historic Turner's Hall. Self uh, Caribbean chop. And she was really originally the standard bearer of the Premier Women's Division once went unpinned 15 months. But let's not forget who defeated her. Natural Bostic, who's currently touring Japan for the next three months. You gotta believe she is gonna see this footage and she's gonna scout the competition. I would like to give a shout out and a congratulations to Rachel Bostic, and I hope that she brings me all the Hello Kitty stuff she promised me. Yeah, always trust a Bostic. Zoe Sky has been the measuring stick of women's wrestling in this part of the country for about a decade now. She's been all over the Midwest. She's completed her first tour of Japan. She has been. Uh, Anywhere there is where women's wrestling is a centerpiece and a focal point, uh, the former Angel Dust has certainly, as thank you, Miss Hanna and Thunder Kitty, they both feel Joe, very Hanna. They both feel very uh, highly about their appearance and their chances here. I love the the spunky attitude of Navarro and Zoe Sky. It looks like they're getting along just fine. Well, see, they're already trying to butter up the referee to get an unfair advantage. Big jump there to get to Cody. Well, he is six foot something. Introducing first to my left. I said she was 95. She didn't look a day over 95. I didn't know she's 97. Oh, Cody's a little tongue tied. Hailing from anywhere but this wretched, disgusting city. Nope. See, see, this is 
why you need Dave Kitch out here. He would have got it right. Accent on the ah. Extra ah. Excuse me, Miss Hana. Cody got it. Well, Hana. Well, this is the only time Cody's been around uh, more women without a restraining order, first of all. Introducing first, hailing from the Caribbean, caution, it's Jocelyn Navarro! And her partner, fighting out of Youngstown, Ohio, Zoe Sky! You know, years back, Zoe Sky would have been an inspiration to women that are just coming up now. Uh, in the wrestling business, she's at the top of her game. Certainly has her name out there more so than ever before. But, if I may... Imagine a, a little girl sitting in the crowd right now, you know, maybe somebody who's not a little girl, 15, 16, maybe wanting to get into the world of professional wrestling, and they see Thunder Kitty, and they see Miss Hana. Now that's something that you can aspire to. If I had a daughter, and as far as I know, I don't have children, I would want them to be like Thunder Kitty or Hana, Miss Hana. Well, that's something you would have to live with, but I'll tell you what, maybe there's a... Uh something to your comment about Cody a moment ago considering he waited to introduce the athletes in the ring for some reason. So obviously he must be pretty lonely. Well, he, he did seem a tad confused. And you know, we've seen the evolution of, of Zoe Sky over the years. I believe uh, first seen her four or five years ago. Had a lot of potential then, realizing that potential. Now have seen Miss Hana back when she was just Hannah. Do you have to Hana yourself so loud? Oh sure, but you can yell drop kick! Like a crazy person. Everyone's drop kicking right now. What are you talking about? That's insane. Well, I know that. Oh. Now oh. that's 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 offensive. Are you She is a fine gal. She's 97. She's seen a sock hop or two she's in up, her. Day. She's up she's a little long in the tooth. I will have you know all of her tooths are natural. She's a feisty dame. But I want to comment briefly, if I can talk over Hannah's screeching voice, that I spoke to referee Nate Pierce during our, our live break, and he told me he saw the infraction with J-Rock and Kitch. He saw Kitch hold Palace's leg, and Pierce was going out there to restart the matchup. That decision was should not have been allowed to stand. I am taking the official's stance. I'm taking the official's call. I'm adhering it. I said the referee's call will be final. And that matchup will continue. And it's going to happen next month at zero hour in a return matchup with Kitch and Lundell both barred from ringside. They'll both be barred. I'll make that announcement at the live crowd in a little bit. But I wanted you to know now in case you wanted to protest. I am going to file a formal protest. And you'll have that in writing. And I guarantee J-Rock... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, roll up by Zoe Sky. But that's the only way to settle this thing, because obviously J-Rock and Palace did not have a conclusive winner. The referees couldn't agree. Kitch and Lunda were fighting each other. So we're still a long way away from solving that issue. And that means Lunda's future, as far as the match will have to be in, one-on-one -on -one versus Kitch or two-on-one -on -one versus Kitch and J-Rock, that hasn't been decided yet either. This saga will continue. Well, that he may get a reprieve, but we know the end is inevitable. No matter how much later it has to be, it's going to happen. Oh, it'll, it'll happen as later as it needs to to get the job done, I'll tell you that. But some tags have been made. Hana didn't want Jocelyn. Thunder Kitty tagged back in. You know, I, I believe Thunder Kitty may have actually competed in the Caribbean back in the day. She also competed, uh, competed, competed you tell me she trained Carlos Colon next? Well, uh, but that is where I was going. She also uh, trained in the Ottoman Empire. Uh, trained a lot of wrestlers in that area. What What is your statistical 
a factual historical basis for this? Uh, Thunder King, actually. She had, she had filled me in on all this. She said, make sure you, you reference this so the people appreciate me. And I said, no problem. And Miss Hana also asked the same. Miss Hana seems like the uh, kind of bartender that'll talk your ear off whether you want her to or not. Well, she's, she's, uh, she is a good, down-to-earth, quality person, salt of the earth, unlike Jocelyn, who her, still won't talk to me. Her voice sounds like nails on a chocolate. Well, you know, some people find that very soothing and sexy. Oh, come on. I, w- I would tell you uh, what Jocelyn and Zoe Sky offered to me, but they offered nothing other than a they gave me a finger. But... I don't think Thunder Kitty, and I, it doesn't surprise me at all, I don't think Thunder Kitty and Han are on the same page and they keep tagging each other in. Well, it, it's it, they're from two different eras, quite literally. So No one's from Thunder Kitty's era. I'm sure there are people. <laughs> Not the women's division of Thunder Kitty actually uh, part of the all women's baseball team during World War II. What? Yes. A little young for that, but she was a, a, an all star. So we sky back in with Thunder Kitty. Now, you know, I don't know if, if Zoe Sky has uh, met anybody in Japan with the acumen and, and the ability of Thunder I like the old school stance of Thunder Kitty. Look at this. Well, Joe, you know how they say everything old is new again? Well, she's bringing back a classic. She's like Hackenschmidt. Oh, and Hannah pulls the hair. No, no, Hannah pulled the hair. Hackenschmidt never needed that. What are we called Hackenschmidt? But be that as it may, Thunder Kitty in firm control right now is Zoe Scott. And a nice job of uh, dividing the ring and uh, isolating Zoe from her corner, full extension of the leg by Miss Hannah. You keep Zoe Sky in one corner and, and Caribbean Queen over on the other side. Anna with the uh, Shades of Super Oprah. Well, now, you were mad when it happened to Calvin, but you don't protest now. Well, I appreciate Ms. Hana a little bit more than I do Super Oprah. Why is that? I know you're trying to goad me into something that's going to get me banned from the air, but... Be that as it may. We no, were... I'm just asking questions. Why do you like Hana? Because the second I met her, I felt like jumping out of window. Well, she's just a nice person. She she's always got a kind word. Uh, she's got a beautiful voice. You should hear her sing. I would rather not. Head of steam by Thunder Kitty. I mean, you you want to hear Rachel Bostick sing? Oh wow, deep, deep chin lock. Yeah. Shades of of uh, uh, Reginald Gotch. That's Carl's older brother. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Jocelyn reaching for a tag. Thunder Kitty, well, that's not ladylike. Oh, that, I, I actually saw that earlier. I mentioned earlier when I tried to get information. Don't surprise me. Hana back in here. Well, Hana could not only dish out uh, the drink specials at the bar, she can drink out, uh, drink out, dish out the punishment as well. Certainly can. And whatever that is. Insult to injury on Zoe Sky. Hana would love to be able to knock off the arguably most prestigious female athlete in this area. Certainly for either of these athletes, Hana or Thunder Kitty, that would be a major proverbial feather in their cap as you can see the frustration going in Jocelyn. Well, you know, I, I don't think she's been the same since she lost to Rachel Boston. So he gets the elbow up, now the foot up. Thunder Kitty, not learning from her mistakes. She got taken down. Now, I believe this should be, if I am not mistaken, uh, under 1939 rules. What? Actually, 1949 rules. How about 2019? Zoe Sky. Oh, put the brakes on as Thunder Kitty attempted a counter. Zoe caught Thunder Kitty with a high kick. Hana distracted the official. Well, that was actually not fair. You know, under not only Bill Watts rules, but 1949 rules, that move would have been banned. Bill Watts. Don't bring Bill Watts into your faulty logic. Jocelyn is making a beeline for Hana. She's going to get back to her corner here. Thunder Kitty's got a sleeper. Move taught by the uh, great James Sleeper, master of the sleeper hold. What? That's actually Thunder Kitty's first bow. James Sleeper. Yes. Look, I'm just relaying what Thunder Kitty had told me. Thought you'd lose reference Strangler Lewis. 
Zoe Sky reaching whatever she can get here. Jawbreaker counter. I think Thunder Kitty, oh, well, there we go, there we go. Old Jimmy Sleeps never saw that one coming. I was gonna say Thunder Kitty needs to get on the trolley, but she's got the tag. And Jocelyn is hit, down goes Hana, down goes Kitty. You can see the uh, adrenaline and the energy that Navarro brings to the table. And both athletes driven down. Well, they were both trying to fight, but she was able to use the power game. Wonder Kitty out of the worst of her wear, receiving end of the low double drop kick. Gonna pin both? You gotta be kidding me. I don't know if you're gonna beat any two athletes in Premier that way, but Hana and Kitty able to survive. Well, you know, Hana and Kitty, I believe that's a team named the Hana Kitty. Please don't. Uh, they're, 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 they're starting to show a little bit of, uh, well, they were starting to show a little bit of camaraderie as a team. Double team coming up. So he's Sky sent in hard. One thing I always say about Zoe Sky, she always has the people behind her. And Jocelyn connected with Hana. Zoe sent to the outside by Thunder Kitty. It's two on one now in the ring. Which the referee's got to get some form of control here. Twisting Fisherman suplex. Hana's really here comes oh Kitty with the Iron Claw. Shades of Fritz Von Erich. Actually stole the claw from Thunder Kid. Zoe Sky from behind. Back cracker connects. That swing and a miss on Hana. Leg sweep. Oh, wait a minute. Hana the roll up. Hana's got the tight tie with an upset. Ladies and What an unbelievable victory for Hana Kitty. That was just, uh, or Miss Thunder, either, you know, pick poison, but an unbelievable victory. Malts for everybody. Zoe can't believe what happened. She looked at the official and, and said, are you serious? The pull of the tights got missed. Hana, a major debut pitting arguably the biggest female star in this part of the country. And I'll tell you, if Zoe Sky's gonna look at partners, maybe she looks elsewhere than Jocelyn. I'm just saying. And Zoe Sky's looking for revenge on Miss Hana, you gotta believe.